Here I'll be preparing a hoary marmot specimen. This marmot was collected from the White Mountains just north of Fairbanks. We begin the process of preparing a museum specimen by recording the data about the specimen onto a standardized form to make it ready for data entry into our specimen database. We take standard body measurements like length and weight. If fleas and lice are present, we will save those and then the skin is removed. The skin will be later stuffed with cotton and dried. Tissue samples are taken and frozen, then we remove any remaining flesh from the skeleton. Once the skeleton is dry, it is given to our beetle colony. The beetles will eat all the dry tissue off the bones, even the inside of the skull, leaving a nicely clean skeleton. For a marmot like this, the process will take about two to three weeks. Once cleaned by the beetles, the skeleton can be disassembled. The joints remain intact sometimes, but all the bones become accessible to measurements by researchers interested in skeletal morphology. The discoloration in the bones is caused by grease or fat that needs to be dissolved out of the bones before they're ready to be installed into the collection. We soak the skeleton in a solution of ammonia to dissolve this fat. After about 24 hours in ammonia, the skeleton is completely clean. We apply a catalog number to each bone to ensure that the bones will not become lost or mixed up with other bones from other individuals as they are examined by researchers. We add a data label to the skeleton box and the specimen is ready to be installed into the collection.